All right, you guys, we're back with some more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Today, we're going to be going over the brand new Goku and Ultra Ego Vegeta. Now, I know I've showcased both of them here on our channel before, but with the release of the brand new Limitless pack created by Reckon, of course, I will have a link down below in the description, we got a couple updates for both characters. So, starting things off with Goku, he actually received a brand new transformation. However, it's not a standalone transformation. It's something similar to his UI sign technique, where we have to perform a combo string, then a super attack to achieve his new form, which I will showcase here shortly. But for his first move, we have Final Blaster. Unleash a close range catastrophic ultimate move that can decimate your opponents. Beware, this move costs a huge amount of ki. Next, we have Ultimate Warp Kamehameha. Charge up a Kamehameha and teleport to your opponent to fire a point blank. He only has two moves, but then again, with a new transformation. As for Vegeta over here, he received a brand new cinematic or animation for his Ultra Ego Surge mode, which is pretty dang cool. I also upgraded this to level 3, so now I'll be doing a max total of 425% damage, which is just absolutely insane. For his first move, we have Hakai. Fire off a technique used by the Gods of Destruction. Energy Sphere. Summon a huge ball of energy to throw at your opponent. Sphere of Destruction. Summon multiple Destruction Spheres to attack your opponent with. And final consecutive Key Wave Final Flash. Rapidly fire off multiple Key Blasts that ends with a Final Flash. Now, I do have enough Z Orbs to purchase the first level of all of the new Super Attacks, I think. <laughs> but without further ado, make sure to leave a like on today's video. I'll greatly appreciate it. And let's just hop straight into it. Starting things off as Vegeta, then we'll go ahead and showcase Goku's new transformation. But you already know we have to do this Ultra Ego versus Ultra Instinct. Ah, my back. <laughs> Yo, I really want to create a cinematic Goku versus Vegeta video. And what I mean by that is using their cinematic super and ultimate moves, right? You know how we break the stun bars, we get the cool cinematic supers? Yeah, I wanna do something like that. Just kinda edit the video a lot to make it look like an actual Dragon Ball fight. I don't know, I think that'd be pretty cool. Let me know if you guys would like to see something like that. But, let's just go ahead and use the new supers. Wait, no, actually, let's go ahead and break his stun bar. Just for he doesn't fight back, there it is. Oh my gosh, I reverted back to my base form. <laughs> Bad timing, no! Okay. Going up to final consecutive key wave. Ah, yo, that move suits Vegeta extremely well just because that's like Vegeta's signature technique, right? Where he uses the final consecutive key waves, <laughs> especially when he's mad. Oh gosh, that was spirit bomb right there. <laughs> yo, step back, Goku, come on. Come on. Oh, oh, wait, let me actually use the key combo and then follow it up with final consecutive key wave that would be extremely cool oh oh all right if you really want to test your strength goku stay right where you are ah. yeah. <clears throat> we blocked those all right here it is Man's got obliterated right there. Yep, that's the go-to Vegeta combo strength. <laughs> Very cool. Ah, ah. Alright, next we have Hakai. Oh, you already know we need to do this Hakai versus Kamehameha key clash. That will be intense. Ah, of course we've seen majority of these skills before just because uh, they're on Vegito as well. But next move we have yo, I really need to unlock Auto Ultra Ego. <laughs> Alright. Energy Sphere! Into Hakai. I always like doing that. <laughs> oh, Spirit Bomb versus Energy Sphere! Ah, no! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I couldn't use it fast enough. Weave! Weave! Come on now! Weave! Ah, ah! Oh, I wanted to dodge that one. Alright, for the last move, we have... Sphere of Destruction. I really do like this move just because we don't need to activate Surge to get the aura, right? This move comes with the aura. Pretty cool. I missed all of that, so let's go ahead and use that again. Sphere of Destruction into Hakai. The Beerus combo. <laughs> 
So that's it for the four new moves. Let's go ahead and check out the new Ultra Ego Surge animation. Look at that! We have the Beerus Aura! So, the character, Vegeta, he's still doing the Super Saiyan Blue Surge animation, but everything else, like the Aura, I believe the camera angle, you know, it was something similar to Beerus's, which is pretty dang cool. You know, he is the student of Beerus, the next God of Destruction. Are you ready for the ultimate combo string, Goku? Perfect! Yo! We finished him off with the cinematic punch attack. Pretty dang cool. Alright, so now let's go ahead and show you guys uh, the two new Goku moves and his new transformation. I have an important question for you guys. Did you guys leave a like on today's video yet? If not, please do so. I'll greatly appreciate it. So this is the... Wait, do I have to be in surge mode? I think I do. Yeah, I think I have to activate my surge mode. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue Cow can... Oh, so you guys know this UI sign technique, right? We perform the surge combo, then use the super attack ultrasonic fist, then we'll be in UI sign. There it is, the UI sign technique, but if we do the same exact combo and super attack while I'm in Super Saiyan Blue, not Blue Cow Ken, we'll go ahead and transform into his new, unique, exclusive Dragon Ball Z Kakarot transformation. Check this out. Super Saiyan Blue 3 Goku, what was that? <laughs> Yo, the Kamehameha Blast was different as well. Look at this. Oh, sweet. His Surge Combo String is different as well, I think. <laughs> Let's go. Super Saiyan Blue 3 Goku. But I like the Super Saiyan Blue Surge Combo String. The Kamehameha Blast was a bit different. It was more like his Limit Break Kamehameha, right? And I reverted back to my base form. No, I have to keep an eye out on my key. Alright, let's go ahead and use Final Blast. I ran out of Surge Mode, but that's totally fine as long as we're still in Super Saiyan Blue 3. Here it is! Now my chance! Oh, what is this ultimate Kamehameha? Yo, that made me revert back to my base form. I had a full key. What? <laughs> no way. I think, could be totally wrong, but I think that skill is coming from Supreme Kai, right? I recognize the sound effect and the key wave. It just looked extremely wavy. I think key orbs or blasts were supposed to come out of that as well, but I think he modified it a bit, which is pretty dang cool just to make it look like an ultimate Kamehameha Blast. Oh, wait a minute! He shoots out multiple Kamehameha Blasts! Oh, we got this clash! Look at that! Oh, what is going on? <laughs> we still won? But there, that was weird. <laughs> Yeah, he shoots out multiple uh, Kamehameha's, which is extremely overpowered. Makes sense for Blue 3 Goku. Uh, we also have Warp Kamehameha. Yeah, which is pretty dang cool. And that's pretty much it for the Goku and Vegeta update. We got two moves for Goku and the new Hidden Transformation. For Vegeta, we got four new moves and the updated Surge animation, right? Massive thanks to Reckon and the entire Dragon Ball Z Kakarot mining community. As always, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!